we're back. Today we have a PlayStation 4 with a problem. Uh, the problem is that it doesn't display any video. I did check the HDMI and the pins on here on the actual HDMI port appear to be fine. I'm going to check it again here for you guys. So the pins are good. I also looked at it on the other side. I went ahead and tested the the diodes, resistor, capacitors, the filters here, and they're actually fine. So that leads me to believe that the video processor chip here, this Panasonic uh, chip is, is bad. So we're gonna replace that. We're gonna replace that with another one. Now I do have a donor, and we're gonna remove that donor, and then we're gonna change it on, on this particular PlayStation. Uh, now the donor is a, a PlayStation Slim and uh, I've never actually used the Slim uh, donor before for this particular job but we're gonna remove it and as we remove it we'll, uh, we'll see if it works. You can see that I, I actually tried working on this particular PlayStation before. So hopefully you guys can see well. Uh, we're going to set up the, the devices here. And let's hope it works. Just applying flux. I'll zoom, zoom in here shortly. Let me just get situated. So bear with me and Hopefully you guys can pick something up from this if you guys want to do it yourself or simply just follow us. Uh, you can visit our website at yale.org, W-A-Y-A-Y-E-O.org. We're going to be uploading videos uh, frequently and uh, sign up, hit subscribe, like, ask us any questions you might have. We're here to help. So there's that chip removed. So this is the donor chip. We're gonna get this board out of the way. It's pretty hot. We can use that for later, later um, parts if we need it. Now this is the chip that we're going to remove. This is the chip that we're going to put back in there. Hopefully you guys can see it. The numbers are, are the same, so it should work just fine. So we're going to play some flux. And here we go. So as soon as I lift this chip, I'm going to bring the other one in and then retouch it on those sides with the soldering iron.
can grab it. Open the tweezers a little bit. It appears to be lined up. I was just coming with soldering iron, puts a little bit of a flux here. I'm sorry, a solder paste, and that's what I like to use. We're gonna zoom in now. I like to come in with the heat and the soldering iron at the same time. It helps melt the solder and make it flow in place. Clean it up. And now we're just going to inspect it here. Let's check it out. So we're going to grab some alcohol. We're going to try to zoom in here. If you look here, there's a few of the pads that are not touching or touching very little. So we're going to try to, we're going to put a little bit more solder paste and just touch those up before we clean everything up. Beautiful. It's really good. So let's turn it over. We're around. Let me take a closer look here. That looks good. That looks very good. that also looks good. So let's get it back to our normal position. Let me see how much I can zoom in here with this thing. Sorry. 
Let me try to adjust the camera here. Hopefully that's better. Um, zoom out a little bit. And just clean the pads of the sides. And you always want to wait for the temperature to cool down a little bit, the board to cool down a little bit before you actually put uh, alcohol or any type of liquid that you use, IPA. That looks pretty good on this particular side. Just need to solder bones out of the way. Now what I use is, and I know I mentioned, mentioned this before, is let it, uh, let it uh, soldering paste. It's uh, easier to melt and easier to work with. Hopefully you guys can see that, I know it's a little blurry. I'm going to give it a little clean with a toothbrush and some towels, and we're going to test it. I'll put in the comments, I write it down, uh, our information, and also if this worked. If not, I'm sure it works. I'm sure this is a good job. Tests good, looks good. Take this off there. And if you guys have any questions, again, feel free to contact us or visit our website. The website's gonna be in the description for service mail in any questions we're here to help thanks again this is uh, yao w a y a y e o dot org hit click hit hit subscribe and see you again soon bye bye now i wanted to share with you guys uh the model number of this particular playstation 4 is cuh dash one two one five a and we replaced the hdmi controller ic chip from a slim and we're going to turn it on to see if it works here we go so as you can see the process work and the chips actually work they're compatible with one another slim works with the first generation PlayStation 4s. So I'm sure this customer is going to be happy.
And there we go. Thanks again, guys. See you guys again soon.